Hello, Rut Runners. Dylan Bowman here, member of the North Face Athlete Team and fellow 2020 Rut virtual runner. It's too bad that we can't all get together in Big Sky this summer to celebrate another edition of the Rut Mountain Runs, uh, but I guess this will be a suitable alternative in the meantime and make next year even better. Certainly a big fan of the rut, the people who put it together and everything that it represents in our sport and uh, appreciate you guys for doing the virtual run this year and helping support the organization that puts on such a great event and contributes to our community of mountain ultra running. So today I just wanna give you a few helpful tips on recovery from training. So when you're in the thick of your preparation for the rut virtual run this year uh, a couple of things that might help you to deal with the accumulated fatigue and soreness that comes from those long weeks of training during the summertime the first and most important tip in my opinion is to always stay hydrated i think this is something that a lot of people overlook especially athletes I am of the mind that a huge percentage of the worldwide and American population walks around every day chronically dehydrated. I think you notice very quickly when you pay attention to your hydration how much it positively influences your performance and additionally how it influences your recovery from training. So you often hear the advice that you should, you know, drink some sort of recovery uh, shake after a long run or eat a meal with high protein. I think even more important than that is replenishing the fluids and electrolytes that you lose during training. This bottle represents my Hydration, I carry it with me pretty much everywhere I go. And actually, a little plug for a fellow North Face athlete, Vlad Ixel. This Bix product is uh, is a, his product. Uh, he lives in Hong Kong, but makes this great hydration electrolyte supplement that I would highly recommend. So that's tip number one, stay hydrated. Tip number two, stretch. Stretch your body. I think this is another thing that is often overlooked. I think there's somehow some controversy as to whether or not stretching is actually a productive and useful uh, use of your time as it pertains to your training and recovery. Uh, anecdotally, as somebody who is a avid stretcher, I think that it really, really helps with uh, keeping, keeping me healthy, keeping me limber and supple and just keeping my body capable of getting out the door day after day for training. So you can see here my little yoga mat. Uh, this is where I do my stretching every day. I probably do at least 10 minutes of stretching every day, but then usually like twice a week, I will get very serious and, uh, and stretch for 30, 45 minutes sometimes. And it really goes hand in hand with the hydration thing too. Uh, when you are really well hydrated, you'll notice that your body is a lot more flexible and uh, it, it's a lot easier to, um, to stretch. And similarly, when you notice that you're very stiff, oftentimes that's an indication that you're actually very dehydrated. So stretching and hydration, tips number one and two. Finally, uh, body work for recovery is an amazing thing. Of course, we'd all love to get massages every week, but in the age of coronavirus, that's difficult and oftentimes it's really expensive too. So luckily we've got a lot of tools to do that massage work ourselves. I've got my handy foam roller here with me, I travel with it everywhere I go when I need to get a little bit more, um, I guess, targeted with my foam rolling and body work. I use this circular orb, uh, does a great job of getting into those big muscles that we use so much in trail and ultra running in our legs that uh, propel us up and over mountains. So those are my three trips. Tips, three training tips, hydration, stretching, body work, whether that's massage or foam rolling. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Good luck in your preparation for the rut and we'll see you out there. Thanks so much.